So good morning, judges. And uh, today I want to present my project about smart control of flight system using artificial intelligence. And we are from GSITS, Sri Govindan Six Institute of Technology and Science, and the team members are here listed. And our team mentor is Shekhar Sharma sir, and I am the team leader, Ashish Darekar. So let's start. So we can. Analyze the situation that the problematic situation of the traffic system. That what is our what is going on, and the traffic is very huge, and we cannot predict that how can we judge the at any road that the traffic will be high or low. So uh, in this situation, or to handle this problem, we are using artificial intelligence technology to handle this situation and to. Get rid of this problem. This is the biggest problem of India because the traffic system is growing and growing continuously, and the roads are developing. Uh, that much not developing means the roads are not developing that thing. So we are here to get rid of this problem by using artificial intelligence and machine learning. So let's start now. Need of smart control of traffic signal. So first thing that why do we need this smart control of traffic signal means how to control. So the congestion of the urban traffic is P. Becoming one of the critical issues with increasing population in automobiles in cities. That the increasing population is the biggest problem in India, and the automobiles are also increasing. And in that situations we are not able to handle, and the traffic police are also not able to handle this situation because as some of the issues maintain that the uh, traffic are very high at some uh, places and the at some squares. So at the squares we are using this technology. This Artificial intelligence using this technology we can use, and now the traffic jams not only cause extra delay and stress for the drivers, but also increase fuel consumption and transportation cost, and increase carbon dioxide air pollution. Now, yeah, because of this traffic jams, we are know we are knowing that the carbon dioxide fuel consumption and the uh, transportation cost also increases, and there can be different causes of congestion and traffic like insufficient capacity, unrestrained demand, large light, light delays, etc. That means the traffic are very insufficient of capacity and unrestrained demand. Due to this, the, there are very large light red light areas. Means we are uh, we hand at some places and we know that at uh, hurry situations when we are going to give our examinations and we are going to the offices. At the situations, the traffic are the biggest problem of our life, or we can say that of our, of our routine. Now the fourth and last one is traffic lights are one of the critical factors affecting traffic flow. So it is also the main critical factor that generally we are not able to handle traffic lights, and we sometimes we have to uh, go against it, and we have to pay the fine for it. Now, by using conventional systems, manual controlling, manual controlling as the name suggests, requires manpower to control the traffic. The traffic police are allotted for a required area to control traffic. The traffic police carry sign board, sign light, and whistle to control the traffic. Generally, the manual control we know about the traffic police system. Automatic controlling, automatic controlling is the control by the traffic signals, which is on, off, and the, we study in the small classes as red, blue, and green light, uh, red, green, and yellow light. So, because of three lights, we are Uh, get automated controlling of the traffic signals. Now we are talking about the fourth, sig third signal that is electronic sensors. Now another advanced method is placing some loop detectors or proximity sensors on the roads. So because of this proximity proximity sensors, this sensor gives data about the traffic on the road. According to the sensor data, the traffic signals are controlled, and uh, we can know that the because of this electronic sensors, the it is becoming more easier to handle the traffic situations. Now what is the drawbacks of conventional systems? So we are handling the traffic system by the conventional system, but it has some drawbacks. The first drawback is the manual controlling system requires a large number of manpower. Means the manual controlling system needs many of the traffic police, and the traffic police are not able to handle the situation and the traffic uh, lights and almost the, all the traffic jams. They are not capable to handle the large traffic jams. Now, when we are talking about the Uh, second point: Then conventional traffic lights uses a timer for every phase, which is fixed and does not adapt according to the real-time traffic on that road. So, conventional traffic lights are not uh, that much sufficient for and uh, it takes a very time and well, very large time, and it uh, is very becoming a uh, biggest problem for the um, students and the officers and the employees who are very hurry up at the morning 
who have the very hurry at the morning to go to their office. Now, the third reason is electronic sensors, that is proximity sensors or loop detectors. The accuracy of the coverage are often in conflict because the collection of high quality information is usually based on sophisticated and expensive technologies and thus limited budget will reduce the number of facilities. So, this is also the main problem. Uh, as we use the electronic sensors, but we are living in the India, so uh, as the development is going on and we are not that high quality information technology, so we are adapting that new thing. So in this situation, the conventional system is not able to handle the traffic light system. Now, what we have proposed here that the, we have proposed uh, the traffic light has flow has no specific pattern that is followed and the static signal timers pose a huge problem to the already critical problem of congestion. Now, therefore, the implementing a system which aims to reduce chances of such scenarios by automatically computing the optimal green signal time based on the current traffic signal at the time will ensure that the direction with more traffic is allotted the green signal for longer duration of time as compared to the direction with lesser traffic. Means we are comparing the red light and green light at as the situation of the traffic jams. Means we are uh, at which road the traffic jams size we are giving the green light at less space of time and at the road which uh, have the traffic jams at less uh, probability or the probability of the traffic jams is low we are giving red light at there. So this system can overheat the older system of hard coded lights which cause unwanted delays reducing congestion and waiting time which will reduce the number of accidents and fuel consumption which in turn will help in controlling the air pollution. Means it, it is also controlling the air pollution and we know that, that uh, because of this uh, technology using traffic jams and we are also controlling the uh, air pollution because the systems and the fuels of the engines of the automobiles are generally off when we are on a squares or on a traffic jams. So now advantages of the proposed system. So what are the advantages of the proposed system that we have proposed that first thing is real time traffic light switching according to the current traffic density means according to the traffic density we are switching the traffic light. Now the second point is virtually no new hardware to be installed. We do not need to uh, install any new hardware that means we do not need to install some electronic sensors or other instruments we are just using the artificial intelligence which is able to uh, capture all the traffic signals and to cover all the squares and main important traffic areas or the the traffic jams are size so that's squares where the traffic square where the traffic jams is very high now third point is less expensive than sensors so it now we are introducing that technology that is less expensive than sensors so i think that it is the best technology in 2022 because we are not using the electronic sensor which is very costly and which is not uh, and uh, the government should uh, propose or uh, should uh, giving uh, i think that uh, government should give a favor to this idea because this is very uh, uh, important for the traffic jams and uh, it also a substitute of the traffic police because uh, uh, traffic police and the sensors because they are very costly and it is very less expensive now the fourth one is autonomous no need of manpower uh, as i said that there is no need of manpower that means uh, no need of traffic police and uh, we are free of traffic police that we do not have to pay the fine because it is a total artificial ai system used so we are going to the advanced and modern uh, situations of the 2022 and uh, also the we are going to the future of AI. Now, proposed system model. So, what is our model? So, our proposed system will pass a snapshot from the CCTV cameras at traffic junctions for the real time traffic density calculation using image processing and computer vision. Now, we are using customized YOLO, you look only once model for object detection in order to detect vehicles. The two major points are we are capturing the snapshot from the CCTV cameras at traffic junctions for real time traffic density calculation using image processing and computer vision. So this image processing is the major part in the AI system that we are using and the second part is we are using customized YOLO that is YOLO only once model for the object detection in order to detect vehicles that means we are detecting the vehicles by the uh, using the snapshots of the CCTV. Now the third point is the scheduling algorithm will use this traffic density and appropriately set the optimal green signal time for each signal and update the red signal times of the other signal. That means we are using the algorithmic pattern uh, using AI and we are giving the green signal where the traffic density is very high. Means we are giving green signal at that road or at that squares where the traffic density is very high and we are uh, giving red signals to that road or that square that where the traffic jams or traffic density is low. So using this technology and using these al algorithms, we are just we are just maintaining the traffic jams without manpower and without any electric sensors using the AI. Now, 
Tabo system model count some of the factors considered in the signal system switching algorithm. So what we are using the processing time of the algorithm to calculate traffic density. So the processing time of the algorithm to control the traffic density, the number of lanes lag each vehicle suffers during startup, the non-linear increase in the lag suffered by the vehicles which are at the back, the maximum minimum green signal time that can be set. This is the done to prevent starvation of the lane with less traffic. So here are some points that means that when we are uh, held on a traffic jam, so there are some problems that uh, what lane or what path we have to choose. And uh, one more thing that lag each vehicle suffers during startup means when we start a vehicle, so it is not uh, um, the probability of starting the vehicle or uh, at the time we are holding the vehicle on or the holding the engine on. At this situation we are making air pollution more and also we are uh, decreasing our fuel. So it saves our fuel that we are also doing uh, by this system. Now the maximum minimum green signal ad that can be set, this is done to be prevent starvation of the lane with less traffic. So it is also become making the starvation of the lane with less traffic. That means we are just uh, uh, doing that the traffic density have to be less on that road where the traffic jams and the squares is more. Now project demonstration. So our project demonstration is such like that. We are capturing CCTV snapshots of the vehicles uh, and here the vehicle detection that is capturing all the snapshots of the cars and here the snapshot of the truck. Now, here is a simple AI model or general animation projection of the resolution of the uh, traffic squares. Now here we can see that the, there are four lanes or we can say that the, there is a square so we can see that only one row is here which is have a green light now however just like the time elapse i want to show that how the time elapse now here the time elapse is 69 seconds now as the time further goes on we can say that here the traffic is moving on to the right as here the traffic on the left row is more so we use and we give a green signal for the right road. Now, the, as the traffic is gone, as the traffic goes to the right, as the traffic goes to the right side. Now, the traffic stops, and uh, then after you can see that the uh, the image processing of the system. That means the traffic is going to the uh, bottom area. That means to the downs downside road to the green road now here you can see that the as the traffic density on which road is high the system is automatically giving green signal now coming to the back what we have seen here so this is a confusion and the current system and the proposed adaptive system of the lane according to the traffic jams now going to the next point that what we have calculated from this all over the system that the results are we compare the total number of vehicles that cross the intersection over a period of five minutes in the current system and the proposed adaptive system with the same distribution of traffic over a total time of one hour with 12 simulations of five minutes each and different distributions of traffic so as we as i have presented the 12 simulation pictures of that squares or traffic square that is showing that we have uh, given the five uh, the 12 snapshots of the five minutes time lane over a period and how we are controlling the traffic using ai that's artificial intelligence and the machine learning the results obtained are tabulated in the form of number of vehicles lane wise and the total number of vehicles passed now what we have calculated from this system so current system versus proposed system so we are using say the red represents the proposed system and the blue represents the the blue graph represents the current system so here the graph represents the simulation number with respect to number of vehicles passed per five minutes so we can see that here the number of traffic jams is reducing with respect to the current system so this is the best system using ai which we have proposed so Finally, results we are constrained that as we are, can see that the, all the conditions are like the adaptive system was able to pass 2997 that is 2997 vehicles while the current study system could pass only 2435 vehicles in one hour which means 562 week more vehicles. Thus the proposed adaptive system improves the performance by over 23%. So we are just making uh, the traffic jams less and we are making the current adaptive system more adaptive uh, using AI. 
Now the adaptive system on an average allows 48 more vehicles to pass every 55 minutes, every 5 minutes as compared to the static system. This implies a reduction in ideal green signal time. Signal is green but more vehicle passes as well as the waiting time of the vehicles. Now, what we have concluded and what is the conclusion? Thus, the proposed system sets the green light adaptively according to the traffic density at the signal and ensures that the direction with more traffic is allotted a green signal for longer, longer duration of time as compared to the direction with the lesser traffic. This will lower the unwanted delays and reduce congestion and waiting time, which in turn will reduce the fuel consumption and pollution. That means we are just reducing the fuel consumption as we are we have not now from this system we have to not wait for the traffic jams. Uh, uh, and for have uh, to delay time uh, for any situations or for going to school and for going to uh, colleges and for going to um, offices and we have do not have to make air pollution because we are reducing the fuel consumption uh, we are making the traffic and uh, traffic delays easy or uh, now according to simulation results the system shows about 23 percent improvement over the current system in terms of number of vehicles crossing the intersection which is significant improvement and that is that is the system which we have promoted by this project and uh, i think that the government should also promote this idea because this is very influencing idea which we which if the government is influencing then we are going to the modern uh, as, as i have told that we are going to the modern uh, duration of the ai so this is a revolutionary idea for the traffic jam or the traffic situations this system can thus be integrated with the cctv cameras in major cities in order to facilitate better management of traffic so it's the best idea that we have proposed for the traffic now at all uh, at last i want to thank you all the judges for, for proposing this idea for letting me proposing the idea and uh, uh, this is the project which is done by the system dobbies i am the leader of the team and thank you once again i am from gsids and i say again thank you